Cheering Joey Hayes, that might be due to the England v USA dynamic. There are some patriotic people here in Preston. Indeed. But I tell you what, this guy's going to get a great ovation, and deservedly so. One of the greatest talents in international wrestling today, the intrepid traveller, is about to land the spaceship right here. It's Preston City Wrestling, the starship. Is this, is this Giorgio Moroder? Hey, wait, over there, over there! Over there! There you go, over there! Over there! Ladies and gentlemen, the king is Wayne Slurray, weighing 94 moon rocks, and hailing from the Lone Star State of Mind, this is Paul Lunder! Preston, we no longer have a problem! Joey Hayes does, well, we, we because do. he's got to face the intrepid traveller who has just landed, like I said. Oh, yeah. we've got, we've got, like we've, Apollo 13. We've got, we've, got, we've got some Leonard dressed as the Undertaker over here. Some dinner. Got someone dressed as a Power Ranger. I thought it was Spider-Man. No, it's not. It's a Power Ranger. Oh, I thought it was Jesse. With that hat on. Yeah. It's a very slim line, Jesse. That is not a cat of 10. I know you want to take the cheap victory, Hayes. 
He's coming this way again. Greg, Greg, get him, get him, get him. Where's he going? When do we get paid? Is that the interval? Have I missed the interval? I'm going to sell some books. You go sell some books. We're going to sell some books. Where is, where is he now? The space shuttle malfunctioned just momentarily there. Perhaps a close encounter chandelier sprinting. in all watching every entry. Yeah, we, we might just pass our talk to you guys. You need to, need to stop, stop doing fancy wrist locks, guys. That doesn't get you on. We've got a brilliant apparently the bell's gone. We're That's underway, finally. Play London, the intrepid traveller. years ago that he, he doesn't do many bookings nowadays, now he's left WWE, he picks and chooses where he can have most fun, and I think he certainly had a bit of that tonight, yes. that's a little bit too much before he came out if you know what I mean, well, about four much, yes. This match has only just begun, and they've only just come to the ring about half an hour ago. 
And Joey Hayes wants to shake the man's hand. There you go. I don't think Joey Hayes speaks Klingon. Are we going to get some action here? An offensive move! An offensive move! Is he coming out? I beg your pardon. You dirty boy in your bed. So anyway, Paul London versus Joey Hayes for a place in the last eight. And of course, if London wins, we may have to extend tomorrow's show into Sunday. Somebody get me a running. I don't think I, don't think I can cope with that happening four times. We've, we've got a collar now, we're tight. I'm going on it. My goodness me. It's all going down. <laughs> Would you credit it? No. I wouldn't endorse it. Do you think Paul London believes in aliens, Gina? He is one. I tell you what, though, do not let the tomfoolery, of which there has been so many, so much, and so many, fool you because this guy is a more than capable professional wrestler. No, he's just a moron. Title. Waist lock applied now by Hayes. I'm, I'm back with us, I'm back with you. Are you sure? Do you so. want to run it? No, I'm fine. Headlock applied by London. Breathe, Greg, breathe. Greg's having, Greg's having three kids over here. Three kids. Would you believe it? Three, Hayes by Hayes. three beautiful children are being born here. Paul London's still doing a headstand, I think. No, he's just trying to look for the escape. You know the phrase, what planet are you on? I think it applies more to Paul London than most. That was a nice escape, though. That's what I mean, the guy's an athlete. Indeed. with some of the crowd actually turning on him a little here. Perhaps bemused by his antics. More confused than normal. Colin Abotayo recites the hammerlock by Paul London. Joey Hayes looking for the escape or the reversal. 331 days for London and Kendrick held the WWE Tag Team Champions. 331 days for Paul, for Paul London's entrance. I was just about to say that. No, imagine how, many, how long those 331 days were lasted. If he was doing that entrance every single night. My goodness. No wonder Vince doesn't like him. We've got chops on the menu here at Road to Glory. I'm having stuff thrown at me from, from up there. It's about time. How dare you? I'm a man of Britain, you know that, don't you? You often say I you are. I am a man of Britain. You often say you are. Whereas Paul London is, is possibly a man of Alpha Centauri. He's a man of alcohol. Alf. Alf? Remember Alf? Hey? He was an alien life form. He was. And that, and that is, how about Brock Rogers in the 25th century? Yes. How about and three speaking. girls coming down the stairs? Hello, girls. Kiss wave. 
Where have they been? Where have they been? Right, Tots. Get in there. They like to make an entrance, as indeed does Paul. See, I've got my eyes and ears everywhere. Here we go. Irish breaks out the headlock, shoulder tackle, sends London down to the canvas. Now we're back. Like I was saying earlier though, G-Man, you know, if we've been thrown out of our game plan, do you think the same has happened to Joey Hayes here tonight? Well, obviously. He certainly seems a little discombobulated. Look at your one. Oh my goodness. Beautiful kick from Paul. You know, full sense of security and all that, possibly. Joey taking time out, he's having to regroup. He's certainly not happy with the situation. Yeah. At you, all. you had to take time out and regroup, didn't you? I did, I did. What's London doing now? What's this idiot doing? This guy's worse than Manson. A, man, a madman Manson's dead. Worse than Manson. You worse than first. madman Manson. Worse than Manson. And Manson's dead. Remember that. Manson is not Manson dead. Manson is dead. He's not dead. Madman Manson is dead. He's not Paul McCartney on the Abbey Road sleeve. He's not dead. Paul McCartney's alive. Many people think he's dead. And there's no evidence for it. Hence the no, analogy. Other, other albums also available. Step well, over now by Paul London, the leap throw by Joey Hayes, not taking anything away from the athletic ability of Hayes, despite his surly Mancunian backstabbing attitude. Oh, wait a minute. Beautiful arm drag. See, London, in between all the bizarre shenanigans and shenanigans, this guy is a professional wrestler, longtime friend of Brian Kendrick, who we saw earlier tonight. Shot to prominence in Ring of Honor in a feud with Michael Shane. Whatever happened to him? To HBK Shawn Michaels, of yeah. course. It's only a rumor. And then he had some matches in TNA. He went to WWE. Had a, let's say, a hit and miss career. He teamed with Billy Kidman initially, and they became the World Tag Team Champions. Oh, that's what he can do, though. Beautiful moonsault from London. And then he left WWE under a cloud. A cloud. A cloud of smoke. So they say. No, let's not, let's not talk cloud, about really. this. Let's not talk about this moron, Paul London. Let's talk about Joey Hayes. And he hates Matt Hardy. Who, Joey Hayes? No, Paul London hates Matt Hardy. Everyone hates Matt Hardy. Even Matt Van Manson hates Matt Hardy. He's got, he's got Joey Hayes thrown out here. No, he hasn't. I mean, London is possibly, you know, London, I know Paul London, believe it or not, he's a smart guy. He is a smart guy. And he will have seen that Joey Hayes has scored big victories, back-to-back -back shows, over Lionheart yeah. and Andy Wilde. Hayes is on four. He's on fire here in PCW. And London has thought, I've got to do something different to try and get an edge. Yeah. And when it was, I wonder, and when he defeated Lionheart, he also retired him. He did. Good riddance, may I add. Well, well, you keep saying this, but that's the point. Joey Hayes is riding the crest of a wave at the moment. Well, let's talk more about and Joey. And he's, he's not prepared to fight a half-man, half... ...spaceship. Yeah. Luke Skywalker, I suppose. Is he bleeding? Paul London is bleeding. I have expected him to bleed green. Oh, this is a serious situation. How's, how's this occurred? Paul London has been busted open here. Medic! Medic! Somebody get a medic! We've got a bleeder! Well, I'll say PCW promoter Stephen Flood has been out here pretty since the very beginning. Stop the match, Flooder! Things are not Flutter. going to plan. Stop the match! London's still got some fire in his shoulder blocks limit section. Oh, he took a knee right on the wound. See? And when Joey Hayes, Joey Hayes like an animal, when he sends blood, he will go in for the kill. Big right hand. London leaping with a desperation blow. But he missed it. Nice kick from Joey. And now look at him, pressing that boot into the crimson of the intrepid traveller. He's now wiping the blood, trying to get it out of his eyes, wiping it.
get on his space suit. Well, we're going to have to get the baby wipes out for this one. Indeed. Do you, do you think there's a certain point in where Paul Lund's oxygen runs out? Well, let's hope so. It's about to happen right now. Oh dear. Thank God. Let's just wheel out the corpse of Madman Manson. Please, worse than Manson. And Manson's dead. There's three killers are dead like that. It's been a different match here in PCW. Paul London vs Joey Hayes has taken a more sinister turn since Joey Hayes busted Paul London wide open. And Joey Hayes, you know this guy, he is sinister, he is evil, he is twisted. He's not a nice guy and he will not have been particularly happy about the way he was humiliated in the early going here. Absolutely yeah. not. And now he's really, you know, Joey's known, Joey is known for his athletic ability, his wrestling ability, but he is, he's getting down and dirty tonight. Now we're talking about Joey Hayes, are we? Well, let's talk about Paul London. Joey left Hayes. kick, right kick, left kick. The American, I think, oh, I'm not sure, reversed hard into the turnbuckle. With authority. The bum chish. You may say so. I have said so. Cover. Two. Not quite. Paul London kicking out of the last minute. What has happened with Paul London here? Well, he's hurt. He's definitely hurt. There's no two ways about it. Joey Hayes is doing a number right now. Oh, look at this. Look at him using the ropes. Bending him like a pretzel. And let, letting London flop to the canvas. Oh, London looks spent. Thank God. Praise the Lord. Joey Hayes is about to put Paul London away for good, forever and ever. Amen. With a suplex from the ring apron to the inside. No, he can't quite do it. And you'd have thought London will be weakened by the blood loss. But no, almost science fiction style. Oh, recovery powers. Wait a minute, what's London? Oh! Stunned. London with a right hand underneath the ribcage. Oh, Joey with a big right to the head. Back comes London. Slugfest developing here at Lava Ignite. Joey Hayes follows London to the ropes. Irish whip. London. Oh, 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 oh. Almost landed on his feet. Joey thinks his back dropped him. Turn around, Joey. You silly boy. Oh, it's the drop salt. The drop salt. Where did he pull that one from, Greg? This guy is so unpredictable. You have no idea what he's going to do. Even he knows what he's going to do. Bleed, come to the ring in a space suit for a year. Who knows? Well, I had a bad feeling about this. If I may quote Han Solo. But not anymore, because oh. Paul London had six long line. Somebody call E1! Sit down, Greg! Behave yourself! Somebody call Jabba the Hutt! Somebody call Mark Adams! Good gravy! Oh, spinning oh, heel kick! Send him inside out! Come on! One, two! Oh dear, oh dear! Joey Hayes almost reached his final frontier right there! That was on his frontier, wasn't it? He landed on his frontier! Nobody has a front here! You tell that to Madman Manson. And left and right. But Madman Manson. But Paul London might. Madman Manson died, remember. I wouldn't be surprised if he came out with two heads. From the you know, restaurants at the end of the universe. Well, let's 
Mediterranean pubs here, Greg. They certainly are. Back and forth. Joey Hayes with the right hand. Paul London fighting back. But a knee to the midsection from Joey. And Paul London definitely. He's had some long matches in his career. Though this guy has stamina. What? Do not count him out. Nice reverse atomic drop. Beautiful hurricane run. He can pull these moves out of nowhere. He hits through some angles that Joey Hayes did not expect. And his timing is unusual. He's not the kind of guy you can normally prepare for. And now, the spaceship is going airborne! Ground control to Major G-Man. Can I get any more sci-fi references into this play-by-play? -play? I, I think you could. I think I could. I think you could, bro. I'll keep going then. I think you should. Would you say that Paul London has universal appeal? Other film companies also available. And now he's climbing to the top rope. The intrepid traveller. Into the stratosphere. Who is looking for? Conti. Let's hope he doesn't break up on entry. He couldn't get his foot in. He couldn't. And he did break up on entry. Straight into the turnbuckle. But he lands a kick. And Paul London's still with the advantage. Nice double stop across the back. Landing on his feet. What an athlete. And now we'll be so old and pants. The 450 of the Shooting Star Press. He's proficient to both. Well, whatever it is, it's going to be trouble for Joey Hayes, Greg. Watch out for the close encounters. Oh, I think he's confused him. Phone home, Paul. Phone home. Oh, my God. Oh, home. He was dictating between the top and the second. I think he's trying to communicate with the close encounter chandelier. It is like the middle of a spaceship, isn't it, Greg? But the shooting star press hit nothing but canvas. And now, Joey Hayes goes for the teenage kick. Backslide. Two. Oh, he didn't have enough in it to drive the legs and make it effective. So he said, oh, he went, oh, that's a clever move from Hayes. Much as I despise him, I've got to give him credit. There we go, he's going for the kick. Teenage kick. Right through the nights. That'll do, yeah.